Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing some Vayne mid lane versus a Yasuo. Uh, he does have the wind ball mechanic, which will be a little bit annoying, but we do have Condemn, and if we don't get it wind walled, at least we have a little bit of self peel. Uh, Vayne is, in my opinion, one of the best AD carries in the game, and also not just my opinion, but if you look up like on stats websites, she is tremendously powerful right now. And we're going to be going for Lethality Vein this game. These are the runes that we're running. I do have Armor runes, so ignore that magic resist, but otherwise everything is exactly the same. We have Scaling runes because Vayne uh, deals a tremendous amount of damage with her Tumble, especially with your Ultimate, which gives you bonus AD. So we're going to try to make it so hopefully if we make it to like four items, we just crit for over a thousand. Uh, so you basically two-shot people, and you can even one-shot with this build... Ooh, nice E, actually. I didn't think about the E out. I only thought about hitting you there. Eh, I mean, it kind of wasn't the worst, though. I tumbled preemptively because he could dash forward and try to hit me, and if he does, then I hit him very well, but... We need to get his shield quick. Okay, good. Got his shield. Just keep on tumble condemning, or tumble... Dang it, dude. I really didn't dodge his Q. We got an auto attack off beforehand, though. I'm going to pop me one potion that I have. I think I'd rather have Silver Bolts than Condemn. It's getting to be an angle where we can maybe kill him with Ghost. Potentially. He has Ignite advantage on me. Ooh, tumbled into the wall. That stops me. That hit me? No. We need to get his Wind Wall. Triumph proc saves me. Nice. Yeah, we do have Triumph. You can either take Presence of Mind for easier laning or Triumph for better later. Uh, Vayne can have mana issues if you spam your Condemn because it costs a lot. It's good that I got the, that EXP before uh, we got that base off. But the Storm Razor build that eventually goes into Lethality... It, uh, the Storm Razor build? The, the Lethality build that everybody's going is always Storm Razor, Essence Reaver, into a Yomus. It's one of the best ways to build her right now. Um, you don't want to build Yomus first. It has a terrible win rate. Apparently, that's super bad. This makes it so we have crit chance attack speed, which feels great. It also just makes us have huge damage on our Q uh, with the Energized. And just buying this early on is also very, very good. So now, uh, occasionally, when we auto-attack, we can uh, burst him for a bonus 60 magic damage. So, super good. Ooh, nice Condemn, actually. That didn't kill him? That was a Silver Bolt hit. Wow. We might be able to just dive him, though. His Wind Wall should be down. We wanted to hit him before his shield came back up. Honestly, I didn't know if I would be able to hit him before then, but it looks like we managed to get it off, and now he's pretty damn screwed. So... <laughs> oh, look at the wave. I'm going to miss the plate. I'd rather reset, though. Uh, we'll just buy as much as we can with our money. I would rather buy a longsword more than anything else. Vayne works with a very short cooldown bonus damage ability that also is movement as well. We have the movement speed towards champions when we're running at them only. It's very good at running people down. Uh, we have the three hit auto passive if you don't change target so you need to hit yasuo three times your condemn is the knockback which also stuns if you knock them into a wall she has a pretty damn good kit especially for being an old kit as well my ultimate gives us bonus ad increases the passive so you would run faster at them um so then you really chase people down well and then also, uh, your tumble is on a lower cooldown and stealths you. So she has a really, really amazing kit for 1v1ing because short cooldown stealths are very strong, kind of like Kiana. Um, 
And it looks like he might have just based. Oh. I'm just going to try to get his shield first. Look at the tumble cooldown. I just think it's so ridiculous how spammable Vayne is. She is such a bully when she gets a lead like this. We can probably get the plate first, and then we need to somehow get his shield off. We could probably hit him to get his shield off without tanking power if we just Q backwards, so. Nice, got his wind wall. I can't right click, apparently. I'm pretty bad at that. But we're still pressuring so hard. Ooh, nice hit. Doesn't really matter, though. It's too far behind to even have, like, a chance at ulting or anything like that, so. We have... No, I can't do anything. I have no way out as soon as I get hit by the Yasuo knockup. I even condemned him away, except for that condemn has a channel time. So sadly, when I used it, it locked me in place. So I had no chance of actually hitting him there. His wind wall cooldown also is kind of short. I think it's actually the same time as my condemn. They did buff it. It was a while ago. Wow. I mean, okay, we'll see. Ooh, well played. I wonder if Q auto attack would have killed her there. She got really low. Ooh, Amumu's mid. Did she die? I get an assist for that. Nice. I don't think we would have been able to kill a Mumu if I uh, saved Condemn and didn't use it the way that I did, so. You're dead. Once again, another save because of the Triumph. <laughs> Well, my Balian's winning really hard, too. I wonder if Twitch is going to come mid. I mean, Karma can shield me, right? So, maybe I'll live? Normally, Twitches, when they fall behind, like to go for these roam plays. Because that's, like, the only way they can come back into the game. So, I'm going to back kind of far away. I don't want to possibly get caught out. See where Twitch is. We're up two levels on this guy. We do Silver Bolt Max next. Oh, you're dead. Right? You must be. There's no way you can. Yeah. Well, tiny throw. Top's also losing. Even though we're winning really hard, I feel like it's still a losable game. Wow, he didn't windball that. Interesting. Okay. I should probably stop using Tumble on the wave so I save my mana. I stun myself. And damn, didn't go off. No! It was mid channel. When somebody flashes away from you, it cancels it. I didn't know that. Sometimes abilities go off once you start channeling it no matter what, but in this case, we have learned that Vein Condemn is not one of those things, so... I would have killed her there. I even tumbled into the rocks. The only thing that I cared about dodging was the Talia W, because if we got hit by that, we would have both 
been ultied by Yasbo. We didn't, though. Nice 2v2 by uh, me and Graves. Finish our Storm Razor, which is a huge spike because the damage of our uh, Storm Razor is going to be way better now. 129 damage versus 60, so doubles the damage. We get be better movement speed as well. Wow. What? <laughs> he died. Really? Jeez. Uh, watch out for Yasuo, guys. Nah, yeah, whatever. That guy's really weak. They'll probably just kill him, if anything. Oh, maybe... Helios is actually dead. Yeah, never mind. Dead. Twitch is gonna come mid, most likely, since, uh... Oh, never mind, he went bot. It's just that there's no reason for Twitch to be bot, but... I'm gonna start hitting the wave since uh, the Rift Herald will kill this no matter what. I should have maybe ulted on Talia there. I think I could have killed her if I uh, just chased her. Twitch is getting some shutdowns. When he buys Bork, he becomes pretty strong. I wonder if I can maybe roam on his Jace. He is pushing up really far. Dang, he's running so far away. Him. I didn't want to stay under tower because I probably would have died. Jace damage is already really good because he has an eclipse already, and I was tanking tower for I think two shots there, right? I didn't want to tank anymore. Caused one to die, but I was also kind of waiting for tumble cooldown, so. so dead. There's no way out. I think Amumu probably had ultimate too. I probably should have saved my ghost. There's probably no way to survive that. <laughs> Since Amumu's behind me, he just presses R, so I should have just take the death. Even if I flash away, I might just waste it because he was so far behind me that my flash won't create too much distance. It's bad that I wasted my ghost that way. Oh, Graves is strong. I have no idea where Twitch is. If we have ultimate, we should be able to kill most people in a 1v1 if we don't extremely mess up with, uh... Like, playing around, for instance, Windwall, or... For some reason, I mess up Condemn versus a Twitch and push him away and give him distance. Oh, we see where Twitch is. Oh man, am I dead? I got that guy. Where is Jace? Did he really just rotate top? Man, he stealthed. This corridor was a terrible place to fight. We should never be fighting there. Because Amumu was already frontlining for his team, and he had ultimate, and all he did was press ultimate flash, and that already, like, kind of won them the team fight. I took so much damage. I should have just backed away. 
Great distance. I should have let Amumu only hit ultimate on like my teammates and then I follow up afterwards. I probably could have salvaged the fight. Okay, I'm not going to be a dragon, so hopefully they can still win that. Yeah, so my rotate too. This is a pretty bad spot to be in because I'm trying to collect the waves so we don't miss a lot. And uh, yeah, so we'll be able to rotate to the dragon before me. He would would have been able to. Clearly he didn't because we got it, but. There was potential. Can I just finish my essence here before we fight again? Nope. You guys are winning really hard though. Ooh, that was a pretty bad miss on the queue. Wow. I actually tanked multiple queues there from Yasuo, and I still lived. When you get kills, I think it extends it. Whenever a champion is damaged by Vayne for three seconds, it extends it by four. So if you start picking up kills and stuff when you're in your ultimate, it lasts even longer. So then you just get the stealth more often and get more AD, etc. So feels great. It's kind of nuts how much damage you do on such a low cooldown, you know? I play like control mages a lot and... I mean, it's a lower cooldown than even just Syndra Q, Orianna Q, and those are low cooldown abilities, and it feels like it does even more. Hmm, I'm dead. I almost killed him. I think if I crit, I would have actually gotten him. That was a really good, uh... Also, I... also Talia hit me too. Maybe if Talia wasn't there, I would have done enough. I probably should have popped my ultimate before. Uh, like, uh... I do the engage on Jace rather than wait for him to go in. It's really close, though. I'm not even at my 3-4 spike yet, which really turns our damage online. Nice dodge on the Yasuo. Here comes the Mumu. Cleanse. Okay, they should win the fight now. Good fight, boys. I don't have any place to farm. I guess we'll just run it down mid with our team. Yeah, so it's about to reach his 10 death power spike. We need to be careful. One more death and we lose. You know what? We can maybe fight, right? <laughs> it's so dumb. I hate I hate main stealth mechanics so much, dude. It's actually so stupid. Can I get a pentakill? Isn't Jace alive? Dude. Come on, man. 
He's just running. He was running away because he didn't even want to try to fight me. Because I think that he wanted to not give the Penta. I wish Karma followed too, but oh well. I wish that I got a Penta there. God dang. I hate, I hate Vayne's Q tumble mechanic. It's, I think it's so broken. A one second cooldown ability that makes it so when you do hit it, it deals like over 600 damage no matter what. And if it crits, it's going to also hit for more like 800. Not to mention it stealths you. And it's true stealth, which means that like it's not uh, something you can reveal with pink wards. It's not camouflage. Ooh. Uh, oh, there's another boss coming. Oh god. If they do uh, fight this, I just don't want to get hit by a Moo Moo ult. That's all. It's pretty easy to kite. As long as I don't get CC'd. Yeah, let's uh, do Baron, I guess. Yeah, I don't even play it being that often. I feel like if I played her a lot, I could totally understand why her win rate is so high. Obviously, there's a lot of things I could improve on. That's so tragic that I didn't, uh, get to, like, kill the Twitch. My Q. Which is back alive, huh? I should probably just back off. I wanted to get an extended uh, ultimate, and also the wind wall messed me up really hard, so that fight was just awkward. I tried to go in for a good flank play too, but we. See I mean, okay. Phileas is in a pretty good spot. They do see me, which is annoying, but I think we win this. So Phileas is really strong too. Warded. Yasuo yeah, has uh, Infinity Edge now. Ooh, you died really fast. I think Amumu's gonna go behind you, right? Yep, I'm gonna die before I even can. Well, I killed the Yasuo at least. Ah, I condemned the Jace when he jumped in and knocked me up. I got knocked up by uh, Jace E. It's a knockback, but it's also something that Yasuo can ulti off of, so that's why I died. Jace E is an undodgeable ability, ability. Once he uses it on you, it's going to hit no matter what. Do I need to go LDR this game? Probably not, right? Maybe I can go for the Bloodthirster. This is to get as much AD as possible while still benefiting from the crit. Because it's going to give us, at level 18, a lot. So, 14 kills. If I was just a little bit better at Vayne, I feel like it would be so easy to drop 20 kill plus games. So easy. Because she has a kit where... If you're really good at it, you can do crazy stuff. Some champions can't really do crazy stuff with their kits, like Ash. Jinx is a crazy kit too, but less mobility, just positioning well and snowballing. Wow, 900 damage. Okay, I'm not... Oh. Amuma has two charges off his Q, and he only used one, so I'm not going to play with fire, because if he does throw it at me and hit me, I will probably die. I'd rather my teammates get caught instead of me.
Thanks, he got his shield. That's huge. That Jace is trying to... Knock me up. Okay. No, my other quadra. Whatever. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary of me playing Vayne mid. As you can see, it's a pretty damn easy... Um, I would say Vayne is honestly not too difficult to play for the payoff of how good her kit is. It's just a little bit of kiting um, and just Q spamming. And when you do that, you deal a lot of damage. There's mistakes, but there's going to be mistakes every game because everybody's only human. So anyways, once again, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the vein commentary. It sucks that I'm not able to get to like full build, but at least I can showcase what it looks like damage wise around mid game. So did 27k most on my team. Jace did the most damage in the game. Gwen had a pretty bad game, but she managed to be somewhat useful. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. If you like it, drop a like. See you guys later. Bye. Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing some Vayne mid lane versus a Kassadin. Probably a pretty damn easy matchup as long as we don't get camped. As good as AD champions are against Kassadin, uh, normally you do shove them under tower. That makes you vulnerable to ganks. Kindred is sometimes an annoying ganker with red buff, so hopefully we don't make any errors where... I don't know, we get like slowed by Cassidy and then slowed by Kindred and killed. Um, the runes that I'm running are Fleet Footwork plus Scaling Runes. And we're going to be doing something that is very effective on Vayne that I have seen, which is going for Storm Razor into Essence Reaver into Yomu's. So it's kind of like going for a um, lethality build but you don't go your moose first and that's going to make it so you still have crit chance uh the essence reaver is going to help out with mana and you just deal a bunch of damage uh whenever you use your q because your q applies sheen this deals good damage um yomu's is very cost effective for just huge lethality uh things like dustblade have been nerfed so there's no reason to go for that i can't believe i dismissed that really Okay, we should just stand here, by the way. You always want to stand between the mini- I missed that, too. So we're doing a no CS challenge this game, I guess. Um, oh my god. I was hoping to backstep that, but it's fine. Our Q cooldown's pretty short, so... I'm just gonna knock him into the wall. That does cost a ridiculous amount of mana, but I think that the faster that I can get this guy down to, like, dive... Potential, I'd want to maybe die to just make sure that he misses a bunch of creeps. So that's my goal. If he just misses a bunch of these, then it's pretty chill. He even is stepping up for these when he probably shouldn't be, so I get free auto attacks on him. I shouldn't have used my Q there, that was bad. Let me pop my one potion. I think it's inevitable that I'm going to get ganked. I really miss the cannon too. Why is my CSing so bad? Jeez. This also can slow push back towards us and we force a TP, which is sometimes very strong to do. So I think we'll just do that. Oh, wow. He didn't even... Wait, what? There's no way Kindred's allowed to do this. She's not on it. Is she? Yo, let's go. No chance. We just let her do it. Why did everybody run so far away? That was very confusing. Just go on her. Wait, does this guy not play Evelyn, maybe? Feels like they don't play Eve just because they had charm on them, but then we didn't do it. I feel like he doesn't play it. Anyways, uh, I basically lost my lane off of that, so... We have, like, the biggest mid-pressure available. 
but we didn't want to fight for some reason and just literally give them the camp, which is very strange. I'm not helping him. I'm already too low, so there's not much that we can do for him. Oh, thank God he didn't die. I would have been like beyond tilted if he did. I'm already a little bit tilted just because of how the early game has went. We have cast in low HP under tower. Have Ghost available as a summoner for team fighting, and that's really strong, and we're just giving all of the objectives for some reason. We even didn't even get the mark, too. To make it even worse. Let's just start queuing this guy down. We're probably going to get ganked. And as you can see, I'm really underleveled, so... First blood. I'm going to try to focus on getting some kills because we're behind. Um, so, condemning him into the wall... Your Condemn is a pushback. If you stun them into it, it deals more damage and also stuns, so... I know it already deals a lot. We also had a Silver Bolt on him. Every single three auto attacks on the same target without swapping targets deals true damage. 6% max HP true damage. That's why Vayne is so good at killing uh, tanks. You can't build against max percent HP true damage, really. Yeah, yeah, Kindred's coming. I get it, dude. I just want to shove out. Wonder if Yoni's also rotating down. Hopefully he isn't, because I'm kind of pinching myself. Let me see where he is, so we're okay. We'll just queue him. Since he stopped my base, I'm going to stick around. At least we killed him once. I'm okay if he jumps on me. The only risk is getting ganked, but if he jumps on me, I believe that I just continue DPSing and we'll be fine. So whenever I queue forward like this, the real risk is uh, Kindred showing up suddenly. Okay, we see where Kindred is actually. She's bot side. Why? Condemned does cost 90 mana, so you want to never use it unless you like are going to go for a kill or trying to escape something that you would ever otherwise die in. Auto-attacked him twice, nice. Still getting huge damage on this guy. Even if I'm tanking a bunch of minions, it's okay. Dang, I almost got him into the wall. That was so close. What, do we think Yoni might come mid? Kindred might still come mid, too. This guy's so low. I only have enough for two more Qs. I'm going to back up kind of far to see if Kindred... Not Kindred. My Evelyn can kill him from 1 HP. Charm, 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 charm. Now she got six. Now she's not gonna die. Well, I mean, if she did it earlier, we would have killed. That's okay, though. <laughs> this guy's still stuck mid with no HP, even though I'm not really able to prevent him from getting the CS because I keep pushing, but I could probably dive him. Mmm, it's rock ultimate. Well played. Nice, I got the three hit silver bolts there. 
I'm probably just gonna have to reset pretty soon though. I don't even have enough for Condemn again, so we have to kill him with Qs. I'm trying to stop his base because I know that he's probably going to full reset. My auto attack didn't go off even though I channeled it. Kind of unfortunate. I don't think that I deal 250, sadly, so... Dang it, she's backing right next to him probably, so he gets his base off. Let's just let the wave crash then. Gathering storm proc number one, accomplished. We want to build a storm razor, it's kind of expensive still. If I was able to stick around for every single wave, like, I think the one that's coming right now will generate enough gold, but uh, he just bought and is really, really strong now. So it's kind of over for me like to stick around, sadly. If only we got that kill on a Kindred earlier. Actually, I'll stick around. I want this wave. Wow, he didn't commit flash? I guess because he already used it. Thank god I didn't die. I got scared. Okay, cool. We have our item now. We don't go static shiv. It doesn't show Storm Razor for some reason as a commonly built, even though it is built like all the time for some reason. Um, okay, Q is maxed. So now we have a bonus, almost 200 damage. It technically just makes your, as you can see, 160 AD. It's an additional damage, so it kind of just doubles your damage, really. That's the easiest way to think about it. Wow, Kasten died and immediately went bot with TP. So, that's down. They lost bot tower. I don't think that we could probably do anything. I wish that we could, but... I killed him with Condemn there, so what's nice about Storm Razor is that besides the proc on your Energize to deal bonus damage, you get movement speed, and Vayne's passive is more movement speed, again, so it's really difficult to run away. Your ultimate is an ability that causes you to just have more AD, your passive, which gives you movement speed, is doubled, so then you get 90 movement speed running towards people, so once again, another thing that makes it easier to just chase. So all of that combined just gives you, oh my god, um, the power to kind of just run at people if they're uh, already losing. Obviously, if you're running away from people, you don't get any benefit whatsoever. And then, of course, our Q tumble becomes stealth. So that's how Vayne gets stealth all the time. It lowers the cooldown of your ability by 30% as well. So very, very, very short cooldown on the tumble. He went crown? Okay. Probably the smartest thing you could buy. Huge damage on him there. That's really good. His crown is also down. Yeah, Vayne, believe it or not, is like one of the best champions in the game. I looked up her win rate as bot lane, just like 80 carry, and she is considered the highest on the website that I use, which is Lolalytics, where I think Riot said it's the closest website to actual stats. Alright, well, I am bot, and my team might fight at Rift, and I have no way to get there, so if they lose because I'm not there, they should understand why they lost. 1Q, get his crown. No way, I took a tower shot, ouch. Two hits. I should have probably ulti'd there. 
Oh, he killed me. Dang, the R flash did too much damage, even though I stealthed away. Oh, yeah, R flash does so much. We never really got a lead on him, so... That's why it's not really that good of a matchup anymore. Oh, Sirocco ultimate as well. Yeah, I probably would have never killed him, huh? That's okay, though. As the game progresses, this type of build, in my opinion, at 3 core, feels like you're a god. I feel so powerful, so... Vayne does have, like, a very, 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 very squishy build. Uh, or, like, she just has squishy stats. She doesn't have really good uh, HP or anything like that, so... We will die very quickly, but... I'm confident that once we get our items, we'll be fine. I should have probably opened up uh, earlier with my ult. That would have really probably benefited a lot. Should we fight mid? Probably not, right? Uh, the thing is that our teammates don't have ults, so that's why we shouldn't fight, but I don't think our team really cares, do they? dead. Yeah. Ah, oh, there's not really much that we can do. They're just grouping and unfortunately have champions that are not ultimate based. So, it's making the game tremendously difficult to even, like, go even on. We're gonna lose the dragon. We lost both Rift Heralds. Side lanes are losing really hard, honestly. Well, Eve does have ultimate now, so hopefully she finds a good shutdown somewhere. And the only person that has shutdown is Cassidy, and maybe just a good kill. Maybe just a good kill. We might still be able to beat Cass, maybe. Not completely confident on that, but it's a possibility. He is much stronger item-wise now, after the deaths. Alright, Eve, are you going to be able to assist with this? Or no. Because they're backing up pretty far. The way that we would be able to fight is together to pick somebody. Eve, where are you going? Behind them? Kind of? Not really? Okay, Eve, well, how about we go for Yone, then? If we're not going to fight these guys here, right? No? I'm not going to do that? Okay. We will just kind of run around. Uh, okay, fight here. It's worth fighting. We did stun the Soraka, but we have no way to get on top of them. We're kind of just sacrificing our entire base for one kill. But... Kind of what we have to do. At least the person walked up so we could even fight. Because if we weren't able to fight there, it could have went even worse. We would have gotten nothing at all. Eve still has ultimate, so we might be able to still look. Oh. Okay. Eve. No. You're not going to rotate. Okay. I will just farm this. Is waiting for our three core to really turn online, so. If 
If I get ganked, I might die. I don't think that I have outplay potential. How they would gank me is jumping over the wall behind me. By a sheen. That guy's probably just dead. Kendra's not looking for any picks right now, which is the problem. I'm rotating over to this. We have to fight. I don't know why my pathing is taking me this way, but whatever. We have we have Evelyn ult. I'm gonna just stun her against the wall. Good. Good fight. When you use your Q against a wall, it causes your tumble to not do the animation of you moving, so it resets your auto attack really fast, so. Makes it easier to secure objectives that way, or shove out waves, whatever you might need to do. We have our Essence Reaper now, too. Uh, top probably doesn't matter. We need to make it to the dragon so we can fight. 34 seconds on my... Oh, nice. This guy's super low. Dude, if you can just, like, be annoying and stop his base but not get caught. It's probably already gone. He does have TP. I th oh, no. You stopped his base. Let's go. Okay. That's huge. Just start it immediately. Make force him to TP in. He's so far away. I'm going to stun this guy. Oh, dang. Oh, wait. No, it's still stunned him. Okay, he just ulted away, though. Okay, now let's do the dragon. She's dead. That guy's dead. No, dude, I really condemned her not into that wall. Whatever, they both die. I was trying to condemn her into the wall and I messed it up. I should just save condemn to get Cassin off of me. But at least we get the dragon. That's all I really care about. Getting the dragon is so gigantic because they already have two. So if they got this one, it would have made it so we have to fight the next one. And maybe we don't want to fight. Maybe we need to scale. It's also 20 minutes, so thankfully we got another Gathering Storm proc. We kind of three-shot Soraka. We are starting to deal a huge amount. Once we finish our Yomus, we have two other items as well, so that's going to generate this bonus AD, so we'll have, like, high lethality and high AD. Not to mention this gives us more AD, so... We're almost level 16 as well. Level 16 will be gigantic. If I could restart this game, I probably would just not... Uh, try to help out with the kindred invade i think that the game is only difficult because of the error of me leaving my lane i probably could have chased him huh i should just popped ultimate maybe i don't need a pop ult oh, okay well i just thought that maybe mauka would be able to w but i guess he was just barely out of range that is a bummer I'm very squishy still, so if Kassin jumps on me, he will deal a lot. Okay, is a uh, Baron recall, so he can easily farm top. He still has TP as well, so he should be able to join the team in case they get caught. Coming mid. 
I feel pretty confident if I just ult TN, we might be able to just win the fight. I'm gonna take this red. We have Eve kind of behind them. Okay, he's kind of caught. They see me now. Eve is in a tremendously good position. We also have Maokai with us with his ult, which is also very powerful for like engaging. But <clears throat> I really don't want to be the person to like go forward and start it. I would preferably want Eve or Maokai to press R. So I'm not going to do anything. I guess we're getting closer to our item anyways, so... Oh my god, please off, thank god. I don't want to be missing a lot of these because... I mean, I crit there, that was unfair. I have a 40% chance... Dude, the crits are actually making me miss this, otherwise it would just take two auto attacks to kill it. Are there people, like, brush camping? I hope not. Sometimes if you just do really sporadic movement, if they are brush camping, they just miss their ability. Okay, well, we see where he is. Our crit on a minion there was a thousand. Crit plus sheen proc. I think that I honestly don't want to be against Kassadin. I feel like Kassadin might be harder to beat. This guy has a death cap already. So he has way more items than me. We can definitely fight him if Evelyn wants to rotate against him with me. Like, if he does jump on me, she can probably easily land that charm, so... My movement speed is so crazy right now. <laughs> like, it's actually so insane. I can't believe that. I don't know, I feel like Vayne plus Ghost plus your ultimate is so broken in terms of if you're just winning a team fight, you will kill almost everybody. Oh, right, we don't have a... I also condemned the Baron. We didn't have Smite there, that's why Kassim went in, because he was trying to steal it, but he failed, so... That's good. Now we can go for, uh... Probably a Last Whisper is best. <clears throat> You're gonna sell the Dorans just so I can build this even faster, too. We're level 16, so we get 55 AD, which will bring us to 400. Gathering Storm proc another three minutes as well. Did she already get the dragon? No. Okay, so we probably just need to fight them. There's no way that they can test. No chance. We'd win really hard. Dang it, man. I wonder how low she got from that. Thank you for defending me. I'm kind of limit testing here a little bit. My uh, crit damage is kind of bonkers. Lulu definitely saved my life. We burned a Sorok ultimate. I mean, my ultimate cooldown is kind of short. But as you can see, the three core is when you start critting for like over half people's HP. It's just so much. It is possible to one shot with this build. 
but you need to go against people that are really squishy that don't even build like HP items. Uh, that support item does build HP, so probably no chance of one-shotting this game. But you never know. Maybe. Maybe if I can full build. We go LDR, probably Collector to make it so we get Lethality and Crit again. No, no, no. Bloodthirster, sorry. Bloodthirster for sure. I can defend the base. I could probably just all in him. It's not going to be as fun as being part of this team fight, but at least we can, like, just prevent any push. Our Q cooldown is... Look at this. Isn't that insane? Your Q cooldown is... Is nothing. <laughs> I think, I don't know, I think Bane is so broken. I could totally understand why her win rate is one of the best. You just press Q and auto. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the commentary of me having to struggle through the early game because of a few mistakes that I made for probably leaving lane, which I probably shouldn't have done, but uh... Yeah, I imagine that my damage is probably going to look pretty good. Because I feel like I was a part of a lot of the team fights. Yeah, so 30,000 damage, most in the game. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next commentary.